Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I have a question from Richard today. Richard says, why does my partner always question our relationship? She keeps asking me insecure questions like, do I still love her and why are things so different between us now? What's wrong that you're not as affectionate anymore? She's jealous when I rarely go out with the guys. And the questions are non-stop and it's turning me off big time. We've been together for two years, but don't live together. Why is she doing this? Richard, somewhere along the lines, something has shifted in your relationship and she's feeling insecure. So I don't know whether when she says that you're not being as affectionate with her, whether this is the, the sort of the root of the problem. Maybe you've pulled back after the two years. Another thing is that you're, li you're not living together after two years, but you're seeing each other all the time. So this is probably making her question, like, where are you guys going? The two year mark for a woman is pretty big thing. I know it's not for everybody at that time frame, but for most women it is where they sort of start thinking to themselves, okay, is this gonna go on to a more of a commitment? Are we gonna at least live together? Is he gonna propose to me? If she starts feeling like you're not really making any effort anymore, she is going to become very, very guarded and insecure about what's the transitioning in your relationship. If you're really serious about holding on to her and making this relationship, uh, you know, for your future, I really suggest that you sit down and have a talk with her about where you want to go. Because it's just the way it is nowadays. People don't want to spend five years figuring out things because how many times have you heard the story where couples are together for five to seven years, they start out at a younger age and they end up in their, their sort of mid-twenties or late-twenties and then they break up. People want to know now. It's not that they want instant gratification all the time, but they want to know that there's a chance that they're going to be together with somebody in the future. And if marriage is really important to her, she might need to know that you're on the same page that way with her now. If you want things to get better, which I'm assuming you do or you wouldn't have written me, you really have to start picking up the pace of it here with her. At least be affectionate with her. Tell her what the plans are for the future. Are you going to eventually want to have kids, you want to get married. The fact that you're not living together doesn't show a huge sign of commitment after two years and so that'll be the first thing that starts to make her question your relationship. So I really suggest here that you just sit down and have a talk with her, what's important to you. Maybe if, if you've got another year of schooling or career or something like that, give her a time frame, give her something to work with here. You obviously care about her, you're still with her. But don't expect her to be in the same place with you because you're not ready to go on to the next level of committing with each other, living together and all that stuff. Because it's a really big deal to women, usually around that two year mark. So thanks for writing. Richard, if you have any other questions, uh, send, me a, send me a private message and I'll answer it a little more thoroughly for you. But this is just the basics of what I think would really help your relationship. Give her something to go on. If you want to stay in the relationship, give yourself something. Thanks everyone for tuning in today to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye.